Does he lock his car? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why? They cook up a scheme to kick Mr. Right right where it hurts. Kat and I started devising a plan. We knew that we would have to be very secretive, very discreet, and very genius. I think I've got an idea. What? Take it from me. Any good hitman knows when it comes to revenge, picking the right weapon is everything. It's got to pack just the right punch. So the supplies we got at the store, two very special ingredients. Oh, yeah. <laughs> habanero peppers, and a whole trout. Oh. Oh. Eyes and everything. Now that they're packing some serious heat, it's time to kick off Operation Payback. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's the dead of night, and it is time to execute our plan. We got the supplies from the car, went up to his car, and got started. Ashley's in the front applying all the habanero juice, cutting them up and rubbing them all over everything. Put it on a steering wheel, the outside of the door handle, the stick shift, everything that he would touch in his car. When habanero juice dries, it actually creates this residue that can last for a couple of weeks. It's such a spicy residue that every time the person touches it, it gets on their hands. Should he touch his eyes to wipe his eyes or any other sensitive skin, like when he's using the restroom, it will burn. And it will burn bad. And he will have no idea where all of this spicy stuff is coming from. Sounds like the girls did their homework. Habanero peppers could put a whole new spin on a hot relationship. So phase one was complete, and we had to get out secret ingredient number two. I'm in the trunk, and I've got the fish. I pull the subwoofer out enough to lift up the carpet in the back of the trunk. And I put the carpet down over top and put the subwoofer back like nothing had happened. This was so beautifully executed. All stealth, covert ninja action. The next morning, Ryan's up early for basketball practice. He hasn't a clue as she's been on top of her game all night long. Ah, a man's sports car is his temper. And Ryan's temper, well, let's just say it's been tampered with. Ashley's in no rush for payback. Her car is a slow ticking stink bomb. We don't know the results of the habanero juice burning him because in a small redneck gossipy town like Roseburg, if you get burning sensations anywhere, you keep it to yourself. 